So guys, hopefully you like that nice use kind of just overall test video. Today, as the title of this video is, we or I wanted to show you guys just how well a large knife, a truly large knife, something like this, not some medium-sized field knife like this, but actually a truly large knife like this, performed in bushcraft tasks. And I was very curious and have been very curious for a long time just to see what types of advantages or just how well this knife or a large knife, not just the buck thug, but you know, any large knife in general, how well they perform in bushcrafting tasks. And that was the ultimate goal for today's video, was to just go over a knife, a large knife, a knife that's over 13 inches in overall length, and just see what kind of advantages or can it even still continue to do bushcrafting tasks. And for me, in my opinion, while I didn't do any field dressing of game here, I still feel very confident this thing could do a pretty good job on that but even from the other things that I did with this knife today and showed you guys on camera this is a very impressive knife not just the buck thug but I think a large knives they generally get a bad rap in the bushcrafting community because we generally like our really small fine detail knives and for the most part I still love those types of knives but you can see that a big knife like this could still all things being considered do a very very good job and I think when we talk about large knives for bushcrafting tasks it really goes back to more of the design of the particular knife and less of the size of the knife I think some people just get so carried away in the fact that this is like 13 inches long or a knife is like 14 15 inches long it has you know an and you know has like an eight inch blade or a nine inch blade or this one has like a seven and a half or like seven and three quarter inch blade you know a huge blade on it and people just get carried away with that fact and they don't think it could do any good at all but i have to show or i have to say especially in my experience showing you guys all of what i did this thing still made a netting needle it still had a sharp spine to strike a ferro rod start a fire feather stick do fine tasks i have done notch work with this before i just did, didn't decide to show the notch work because generally i show notch work in a lot of these videos so i don't want these videos to get too repetitive so i decided to actually embark on something harder and make a netting needle and once again this knight did a very good job at uh, making a netting needle very impressive especially for its size I was extremely impressed at how well it made a netting needle and once again I think the large portion of that uh, impressiveness comes back from the design hopefully you guys don't mind the Sun over there just getting in the way of this closing part of this video but anyways it really goes back to the design of the large knife if this knife was just a slab of steel made very thickly I think this knife would really suffer at doing bushcrafting tasks but because it was made by a competent and capable deceased now uh, bushcrafter slash survivalist Ron Hood it really shows in its design and function and capability to do things that many larger knives could not do however I will still say that this knife being a larger knife still is very capable and then throwing on top of it all the similar capabilities like I said still being able to carve notches feather sticks and uh, make netting needles you also have the ability to chop wood with this knife like actually chop wood because of its design as you guys can see uh, because of its design you can actually chop wood very well as I hope you guys can see also there because there are advantages to having a larger knife just in having the larger knife primarily things like chopping wood and batoning. Batoning significantly easier with this knife. So anyways guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this look, a quick look, just kind of at showing and answering this question of how capable large knives are still for bushcrafting. And there will be a review coming soon on this knife and on this knife. But anyways guys, that's all for now. Like I said, hopefully you enjoyed this nice peaceful use video on a really awesome knife and hopefully this answered some important questions and at least the question of how relevant larger knives can be for bushcraft.